With eight goals and three assists from open play, it's easy to see why Chelsea fans are relishing a Colin Gallagher return to the bridge after a season's long loan at Crystal Palace. This season has seen Chelsea falter and stutter on many occasions. Could Gallagher be the answer to Chelsea's frustrations? Before I get into the video, can I remind you to please like and subscribe for more tactical analysis and stats. To set the scene, Palace play in a 4-3-3 formation. In the most successful variation of this formation, the midfield contains one destroyer flanked by two slightly wider central midfielders. Due to MacArthur's injuries this season, Palace have also played two more defensive midfielders with Gallagher in a more central attacking role like he did when he played on loan at Swansea. I think our best midfield sees the first variation of formation with Cheku Koyate as a destroyer and James MacArthur and Gallagher on the left and right respectively. Koyate always stays put, but it's the two flanks where the magic really happens. Gallagher will try and create an overload with the fullback and forward on the wing, whilst MacArthur will tuck in in case of a counter-attack. The reverse also happens when MacArthur supports the left wing. Gallagher often overlaps the winger, putting in crosses, hence why he has the third most crosses per 90 for Crystal Palace after Michael Elisa and Jordan Ayew. And with the most touches in the box per 90 of any Palace midfielder, it's clear that if the opportunity for the overlap isn't there, then Gallagher drifts into the box instead. Armed with a deadly finish and an exquisite touch, five opponents have fallen to Gallagher this season when he finds himself in this position. With the occasional poor tackle aside, Gallagher is defensively sound. He'll run, work and run again. There's a reason why he has the 6th most pressures of any player per 90 in the Premier League. And of these players and presses, he has the 2nd most in the attacking 3rd after Wout Weghorst, who is a striker. This is because Palace play an initial high press with Gallagher joining the front 3. If this is beaten, they drop into a low block. With Palace conceding the 5th lowest expected goals against in the league, it's clearly a system that works for Gallagher and Palace. Now all of this seems like the perfect opportunity for the starter in Chelsea, but is it really? The answer to this is hugely dependent on whether Thomas Tuchel opts to play his 3-4-1-2-3-4-2-1 or a straight 4-3-3. Defensively, Gallagher will fit into any formation Thomas Tuchel wants to play. However, if Tuchel sticks with 3 at the back and 2 in midfield, Chelsea won't get the best out of Gallagher going forwards. This is because Gallagher's best runs of play come from him overloading the wings or wandering into the box, but Chelsea's 2 midfielders don't join the attack beyond the penalty box. Unless Tuchel wants to sign a centre-back who would cover when Gallagher goes forward, Gallagher joining the attack would leave Chelsea open to the counter. And sadly, restraining Gallagher will mean Chelsea will never realise his lethality in the box and his crossing ability. But so what? He's still good enough to play in that role, right? This is the thing. I think he could play the role, but one, he's never regularly played in a two-man midfield before at any of his loan clubs. And two, I don't think he'd be better than Kovacic, Kante or Jorginho, or any other player that Todd Bowley prefers in the market instead. Although one, one saving grace for Gallagher is that he is significantly younger than those players. However, there is hope for Gallagher. If Tuchel decides to play a 4-3-3 like he did against Spurs, I would salivate at the opportunity for Gallagher to play, as this 4-3-3 is very similar to Palace's 4-3-3. Like he does at Palace, Gallagher will be able to overlap when Ziyech cuts in from the wing, or drift inside if the fullback takes the opportunity to overlap instead. But, oh, there's always a but, isn't there? Besides the Spurs game, Chelsea haven't played a 4 at the back formation particularly convincingly this season. And with Mount playing in the role that Gallagher would suit, it's hard to see how, in this case, Gallagher directly improves the side beyond adding squad depth for Tuchel. I guess Mount could play more advanced but again this is just in place of another one of Chelsea's excellent attacking players. In conclusion I really really hope Gallagher succeeds at Chelsea because he comes across as a very very lovely kid. His success is dependent on the formation that Tuchel decides to play. With the addition of five substitutes to the Premier League and Chelsea's often long fixture list, he'll be a good squad player for the side. Sadly, and it pains me to say this, I can't see how Gallagher improves on what Chelsea already have or what the new owners are probably going to want to bring in. Thank you for watching and again please like and subscribe to the channel for more tactical analysis and football stats. Drop a comment on your thoughts on whether Gallagher would fit into Chelsea's squad. Please also follow me on Twitter for other tactical insights and football statistics graphics. I also appear on Eagle Eyed Football whose link I will leave below as well. Thank you very much and have a good day.